What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at menus and toolbars with PyQt5 and the Qt Designer. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at menus and toolbars. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube one to get thirty dollars off membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just forty nine dollars, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at menus and toolbars. And if we come up here to form and preview, you see we get this little app, and it's got some drop down menus. There's some things in it. There's some icons here. We've got a toolbar here with some icons. They don't actually do anything yet, but uh, we're gonna build all of this stuff out in this video. So. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. We're gonna start over. So head over to our Git Bash terminal and I'm in my C PyQt5 directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on. So let's just run the designer and we can do it like this. And that should pop up. And now we want a main window. So I'll click create. Okay, so here we have just our basic layout. And if you see right up here at the top, it already has a menu built for us. And you can see also down here at the bottom, there's a uh, status bar sort of down here with a little grippy thing. We're not going to talk about that in this video, but just pointing out the things that come with this when they first start. And we can come up here and just double click this and start typing. So we want one that says file. Maybe here we want one that says edit, whatever. Here, I don't know, help, <laughs> whatever. And then come down here and click on one of these and then just click the next thing and start typing. So we can go open. And then maybe we want a new and save, I don't know, save as, and it's just that easy. So same thing here, just come to the next one, cut, copy, paste, whatever. And here we might go about something like that. Doesn't matter. You get the idea. Super easy. Find, find next. Whatever. I'm just playing here. Replace the common things you see in these menus. And it's just that easy. So now let's talk about the toolbar. The toolbar is a little bit harder. And if you come through here and look at all the different widgets and things, I've got these all minimized for some weird reason. But if you look through all of here, all of these, there aren't any toolbar widgets. So there's nothing to drag over here. What you have to do is actually come over here and right click and do add toolbar. And when you do, you see boom, this thing pops up. Now what we need is the, uh, let me actually resize this a bit so that we can get into here. We need the action editor and it's down here, right here. And if it's not appearing here, just come over to your views and hit action editor. You see, boom, now it's gone. We can come back, action editor, bring it back. And inside of here, these are the different actions we can do. And you can see there's already some things listed here for new, save, save as, cut, copy, paste, those things we added here. Right? Those are all listed here already. And you can play around with them. But what we want to do is add something here. So come down here to our action editor and let's click this little guy right here that says new. And this thing pops up and we can, I don't know, put anything we want here. I'm going to type in home. Now you can come down here and just click this and pick choose file. This box will pop up and you can pick any file you want to add your icons. Now, we're going to talk about icons in just a second. But for now, let me go to my C GUI directory. It's where I keep all my Kinter images. I've got a few button looking PNGs. So I don't know, let's just grab one. And we can click OK. And you can see now here it is action home. And we can just grab this, click your mouse, drag it up here. And you can see a little red thing appears, boom, pop it right in. And that that's it. So we could go to form uh, preview. And you can see this is a button, we can click it, it does its stuff doesn't do anything, but just that easy to create these things. All these guys here appear. Very cool. So we can also drag this up into the menu bar too. So if we want to put this in, I don't know, right here, boom, there it is. And we can change this if we want. Uh, play, I don't know, whatever. And now that thing appears in there. So very cool. And just that easy. So this is pretty easy with the designer. It's a little tricky if you don't know what you're doing and hey, what's this action editor thing? But when, as soon as somebody points it out, you're like, oh, that's easy. Now, you're gonna wanna, this is just a PNG that I use and it works fine, 
but you're probably going to want to use some sort of icons, you know, like Windows icons. So there's a website, let me show you real quick. And I'll put a link to this in the description. It's p.yusukikamiyamain.com, right? This dude has this fugue icon set, you know, it's completely free under the Creative Commons attributions license, which means you have to give attribution, you have to say, hey, I got this from this guy somewhere, uh, but or you could pay for it, but use any icons that you want. So we could come down here to the free link, click this, save this, and I'm going to save this in my PyQt folder. I've also got a, a folder called images and inside of there, I've got a folder called icons. So uh, let me just save it in the images folder. It's a zip file, so we need to unzip it. So I'm on Firefox, my, my downloads are up here in this little arrow. If you're on Chrome, they're gonna be down here in the bottom left-hand corner, wherever your downloads are, click this thing. You can see there it is. We wanna click it, come up here to extract all. This box pops up, you pick where you want this to extract. We've got it saved in images, but I wanna extract it into the icons folder that I created. I put that icons folder there and you would just click select folder and then click extract and that will extract them. I've already done that, so I don't need to do that again. But you can see after it extracts it all, we can go back here and let me just delete this. I don't need it anymore. And if I look in my icons folder, then we can see this icons directory and inside of here, there's just like a zillion icons, right? And they're all pretty cool. So you just sort of come through here and find the one you want. So for instance, if I wanted a bell, I could type in bell here, click next, and there's some bells that show up, right? So very cool. And now we can use these in our designer. So come back over here and let's create some, let's create some icons. Now let me get rid of this one because uh, I don't wanna use an image like that. I wanna use an icon. So we can come over here to our action editor, come up here, click this. Uh, I'm just gonna call this bell. We already looked at bell and come down to our icon, click this little guy, choose the file, same as before. This time navigate to our PyQt directory or wherever you installed those icons, click on images, icons, inside of here, icons, and then we can search right here. So I could go bell, search, boom, here's a bunch of options. Maybe this bell plus, I kind of like that. Okay, there it is. We can grab it, drop, drop it over there. Boom, we've got a bell. Just that easy, very cool. So let's add a couple more just for fun here. Let's come through here and I don't know, just choose a file. It still says bell here, let's get rid of that. So let's go back here and we don't wanna search result. Let's just kind of look through here, find something we want, or you know what? Let's grab a print guy. It was like a good print. So we could go print, find something we like. Basic printer, double click it. And up here, let's call this print. Click OK, there it is. Now we can drag it over, boom, just that easy. Very cool, let's do one more, why not? Just for fun. <laughs> IQT Thursday, choose file, come through here, let's close this, and we wanna go back. Oop, <laughs> it's a weird thing to pop up. Oh, I guess P. So what else do we got? Sushi? <laughs> a blue folder with a smiley face on it, that's weird. <laughs> Maybe an edit list order thing. Call this edit list. I don't know. Click OK. Grab this. Bring it up. Boom. Okay, so just that easy to create a menu like that. To add icons to the menu, we got this play button right here. And to create a toolbar and add icons. Like I said, it's not really intuitive how to do this because there's no toolbar widget and you have to kind of come down here and finagle with this action editor, which is kind of weird. What's an action? What do we care? Like, ah. And even right here, when we try to add a new one, if you click here, the first thing listed is choose a resource. We don't want a resource. We don't know, we're not gonna use resource files. We want to choose a file. So don't get trapped into that. Always choose file there. But other than that, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Now, obviously these things don't do anything yet. You're gonna have to program them to do something on the back end like we've done earlier, like we did last week with our calculator app. But at least now they're on there and you can do whatever you're gonna do with them in the future. And that's pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codingme.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. 
name is John Elder from CodeMe.com, and I'll see you in the next video.